just moving them in bed to get a song down here. Hasselblad asked me to create a short film using the H6100. As a stills photographer, this would always be a challenge. But as I was given creative freedom to make a film on any topic, I welcomed the opportunity to document a way of life on a subject close to my heart, island life and the ocean. I also approached local diving legend Richard Keane to be the subject of my short film. There were many challenges in using medium format to create video, but there were also some welcome surprises. Yeah, when you're ready. We started with several early mornings, as well as filming at sea and underwater. The versatility of the HC lens system gave me some wonderful creative opportunities. The medium format sensor also provides a very cinematic look to the video, as you will see in the final film. To record sound, I used an external microphone mounted on top of the H6 camera. This sequence of Richard entering the water was very important for my final film, so I recorded it from many different angles. I also wanted to capture the dramatic range of the tides in Guernsey on a six hour time lapse. The H6 has a built in interval timer, which I took advantage of. For the ultra high definition 4K raw format, I needed to film using CFast cards. These pieces in the museum were discovered by Richard Keane, the subject of my short film. This 1700-year-old shipwreck is another that Richard Keane discovered. For the long shots of Richard entering the water, we needed to film from another boat. What we just did there, I did a wide version. And using a 210mm lens with a 1.7 converter in a rocking fishing boat was also a challenge. So we're about to conduct our first test on the Hasselblad in the housing in the water and to check the balance of it on the scooter ahead of filming uh, because there's too much at stake for this all to go wrong. So I want to do this shallow water test first and get things worked out. And obviously with it being such an expensive camera, I want to make sure that everything is watertight. So for video quality, press the video camera, go into quality, and you can choose H.264 or raw ultra high definition. So we're filming in the raw ultra high definition, which is the 3FV format, which will allow me to do some grading on the footage within the focus software. This is a dive propulsion vehicle that's got a propeller, attaches to me, pulls me along through the water and this is what you what serves as a stable filming platform for the camera and the camera could be rotated at an angle so you could do dolly shots with the camera underwater. The tests went well after some balance adjustments to the dive propulsion vehicle. This was going to be the most challenging day. Now came for the dive filming. 
I had dive support from Matt Eker, who also filmed the underwater behind the scenes. It was a great experience working with these guys and filming Richard undertaking his work. It was also a really interesting project using the Hasselblad for video and film. Before we close this out, you'll also see some of the post-production work using Focus software, but be sure to check out the final film and the H6D section of the Hasselblad YouTube channel. So uh, let's have a look at the clips and how you handle them in Focus software. So if you're familiar with using the Focus software from using the Hasselblad camera, you'll find this uh, all very familiar too. Now the great thing about this footage that I've found is it is very, very gradable. Um, it's actually incredible quality footage. Uh, from what I've seen so far, I'm very, very impressed from what this can turn out compared to even our professional video cameras that we use here in the studio. So I've loaded the clips uh, in. Immediately I noticed that we've got great highlight control, shadow detail, really good range of tones that have been captured. Now let's look at a couple of things that are important here. You've got this button called adjustment mode. If I turn that off, it basically just gives me a lower resolution uh, sort of H.264 preview clip. So I can play the clip to just have a look at it and see uh, what it looks like just to get a general feel for it. But that's not the clip in its highest quality. For the clip in its highest quality, I need to move into adjustment mode. That brings up the 3FV uh, format file and it's in adjustment mode that I'm able now to grade the clip so I can lighten it I can darken it for example I could pull up some shadow detail uh, and I can even go in as far as um, adjusting the colors so let's say for instance the color of the orange on the skin tones there I can select that and I can change that hue so it's highly highly gradable compared to uh, grading uh, clips in video editing software. I'm very, very impressed with this. Uh, then the process is that once you've done your grading is you need to export the clip. Now you can export it without grading it um, or you can apply all your grades to all your clips and then you can queue them up to do the export. And then I just go to the export button and then we have a number of options here. We can export this in Cinema DNG, which is like a raw sort of log file format for further grading. Um, it's a very flat file format, so it's very uh, malleable, but you can do a lot of grading on it. But actually for me, I prefer the ProRes 422 high quality codec. 
uh, which is the one that I'm going to use for my short film. You can also uh, select 444 if you want even greater quality as well. Select it and then simply click export and then it shows you that it is processing that file and running the export. But as I said, so far, hugely impressed with the gradeability of this footage, hugely impressed with the ability to use the focus interface, preview the images and have those familiar focus adjustment controls. To view the Guernsey Scallop Diver 4K movie, please visit the H6D section of the Hasselblad YouTube channel.